Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about why you struggle in some social situations. And it's a problem all of us go through at some point. Even I, I have problems with that every now and then. And it's normal. And it's nothing to be embarrassed about. But it is something we do want to fix. And it's something we can improve on. So why don't we? And the first step to truly improve your social skills is to admit that they're not all that great which is something you've already done by clicking on this video so great job and thank you for clicking on the video by the way please do subscribe if you want to see more content like this <laughs> and i really do appreciate the support and the views and everything thank you all by the way let's get in, let's get right into it okay so the big reason why you have a lot of trouble in social situations the reason why you feel awkward and have trouble speaking up the biggest reason why is because you're not awake what does this mean what does it mean that you're not awake basically <laughs> you're just not living your life to its fullest potential what this means is that frankly you're like a zombie just drifting about you know like a like a tumbleweed in the wind it doesn't have any sort of direction it's not it's not awake it just moves around wherever the wind blows it basically what I'm, this sounds very vague basically what i'm trying to say is that you're not no you're overthinking and you probably know this you know it's a problem but you don't know how to stop it and it's a really big problem because if you just keep thinking over and over all of the possible scenarios in your head you're not going to be living your life and that's a big problem it's like it's like you're a fish in a glass bowl thinking that that's all there is to the world you just keep swimming around over and over in the glass bowl but you don't realize there's an ocean out there yeah. all right that, that sounds like a stupid metaphor but <laughs> it is true you're basically not living properly and this is something i learned from the book total meditation by i forgot let me look by deepak chopra i think that's how you pronounce it this is the book i haven't fully finished it yet but it's pretty good i have to admit and it really does make sense what he's trying to say is that we're living unawakened lives because we're not present in the moment we're in our own minds instead of in the world does that make sense our consciousness is stuck in our mind, stuck in our skull. It's not out in the world with the other people, with the people you want to talk to. It's not being social around them because it's constricted by your own mind. It's because you're overthinking too much and you can't keep that presence. And that's all you really need. That's the biggest thing you need. It's just presence. Say whatever the hell you want. It can be something stupid. It doesn't really matter. Just say it. And the only way to do that is through presence. And, well, you might say this is really difficult to do. Maybe you've tried it. Maybe you succeeded like once, but you failed 10 times. And what I'll say to you is that if you're watching this video, you're probably like a teenager, right? <laughs> like me. And so we have an opportunity that a lot of people don't. We go to school every damn day of the week, except Saturday and Sunday, of course. We can practice every day. Isn't that... <laughs> so if you're really not improving at all, that's kind of your fault. No, that's not. That's 100% your fault. We have the opportunity to practice our skills every single day, our social skills. And we can do this because... Think about it, How do you think that social guy improved his social skills? He just practiced over and over and over again in his own environment, in the, his school. And he became funnier and he got more friends he became he became the popular kid you've always wanted to be but you couldn't do it because you were too stuck in your mind you think too much and that's one of the problems of self-improvement you keep thinking about the things you're doing wrong thinking about things you should be doing right instead of just living just existing in the moment and believe me it's all really difficult but another thing that this book has taught me is that life is kind of just like a big meditation session does that make sense so if you do meditate which you should it's basically just clearing your mind focusing on the present moment for example focusing on the breath 
And whenever you get distracted, you just go back to the breath. Take one deep breath with me right now. That feel good. <laughs> Felt good to me. Basically, you focus on your breath. And whenever your mind starts to wander onto a different thought, or some random thought that comes into your mind, try to bring it back to the breath. It's simple as that. But what this book teaches us is that life as a whole is meditation. It's We need to be able to bring ourselves back to the present moment throughout our lives. And that can be difficult, but it can be practiced and it can be improved like any skill. So the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway from this video is going to be that you need to improve your social skills and that you have such a great opportunity to do that because you can go to school every single day and practice on all sorts of different people. So what's stopping you? Once you stop watching this video, please do meditate for at least like one minute. It'll definitely help you. Just do what I said, focus on the breath. And once your mind starts to go away onto a different thought, bring it back to the breath and just keep breathing. And whenever your mind starts to overthink, when you're in a social situation, if you're in school, try to take a deep breath and bring it back to the present moment and say whatever you want to say. Another video that will help you would be the juggernaut video. That's the best thumbnail I ever made. So please watch that video. It's one of my favorites personally. And I'll try to make more quality videos for you so I can help more people and I can help you guys more because that's what really matters. Thank you for watching this one and keep fighting for a better tomorrow.